welcome to edupedia world in this video we will discuss standard deviation and its coefficient next we come to variance another measure of dispersion closely related to standard deviation is variance variance is the square of standard deviation variance equals to standard deviation square greater the value of variance greater would be the variability and vice versa let us understand this with the help of a following illustration the population in lakhs of districts are given to us and we have to find out variance we will make the table of four column in the first column we write serial number that is 1234567891011 in the second column we will write population which is denoted by letter x we will arrange the data in ascending order that is 20 20 22 23 23 26 27 29 29 30 30 31 31 32 32 33 33 34 34 35 35 36 36 37 37 38 38 39 39 40 40 41 42 42 43 43 44 44 45 46 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 52 53 
we will add up the marks we will get sigma x equals to 50 with this information we will calculate mean which is equals to sigma s divided by n which is equals to 50 divided by 5 we will get 10 as mean now come to third column d equals to x minus mean so 6 minus 10 comes minus 4 8 minus 10 minus 2 10 minus 10 0 12 minus 10 2 14 minus 10 4 in the last column, we will write d square, that is minus 4 square 16, minus 2 square 4, 0 square 0, 2 square 4, and 4 square 16. We will add up the values, we will get sigma d square equals to 40. Now we will calculate standard deviation, which is equals to sigma d square divided by n under root whole. We will put up the values, we will get 2.83 at standard deviation. Now we will calculate cv, that is coefficient of variation which is equals to standard deviation divided by mean into 100 we will put up the values that is 2.83 divided by 10 into 100 we will get 28.3 percent that is coefficient of variation this is how we will calculate coefficient of variation in individual series using direct method now we will calculate coefficient of variation in discrete series let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate coefficient of variation from the following information using shortcut method to find deviation. Data is given to us that is x is given and frequencies are given to us. For the solution we will make the table of 6 columns. In the first column we will write x that is 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35. In that we have assumed 25 as mean. In the second column, we will write frequency, which is given in the question. That is 2, 3, 6, 7 and 2. We will add up the values, we will get sigma f equals to 20. In the third column, we will get d equals to x minus a. So, a is here, assume mean. So, 15 minus 25, we will get minus 10. 20 minus 25, we will get minus 5. 25 minus 25, we will get 0. 30 minus 25, we will get 5. And... 35 minus 25 we will get 10. In the fourth column we will write FD that is we will multiply frequency with deviation. So 2 multiplied by minus 10 we will get minus 20. 3 multiplied by minus 5 we will get minus 15. 6 multiplied by 0 is 0. 7 multiplied by 5 equals to 35. And 2 multiplied by 10 we will get 20. We will add up the values we will get sigma FD equals to 20. In the next column we will write D square. So minus 10 square we will get 100, minus 5 square we will get 25, 0 square 0, 5 square 25, 10 square 100. In the next column we will write FD square, we will multiply frequency with D square. So 2 into 100, 200, 3 into 25, 75, 6 into 0, 0, 7 into 25, 175 and 2 into 100 we will get 200. We will add up the values, we will get sigma FD square equals to 650. Now we will calculate standard deviation. We will put up the formula of standard deviation for shortcut method and we will put up the values. We will get 5.61 as standard deviation. Now we will calculate CV that is coefficient of variation. For that first we will find out mean. So we will put up the value that is A plus sigma FD divided by sigma F equals to 25 plus 20 divided by 20. We will get 26 as mean. Now we will calculate CV that is coefficient of variation. Which is equals to standard deviation divided by mean into 100. We will put up the values. We will get 21.6% as coefficient of variation. This is how we will calculate coefficient of variation in discrete series using shortcut method. Now we will understand calculation of coefficient of variation in continuous series using step deviation method. We will understand this with the help of a following illustration. We have taken the same illustration as we have taken in continuous series of standard deviation. So let's start with the solution. We will make a table of 8 column. In the first column we will write down marks which is denoted by letter X that is 0 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 12 and 12 to 16. In the second column we will write down midpoints which is denoted by letter M that is 2, 6, 10 and 14. 
In this, we have taken 10 as assumed mean. In the third column, we will write down number of students, that is frequencies, 4, 8, 2, and 1. We will add up the frequencies, we will get sigma f equals to 50. In the fourth column, we will write down d, which is equals to m minus a. So 2 minus 10, we will get minus 8. 6 minus 10 comes minus 4. 10 minus 10, 0. 14 minus 10 comes 4. In the four, fifth column, we will write d dash, which is equals to d divided by c. Where c is common factor, that is 4 in this particular illustration. So, minus 8 divided by 4 comes minus 2. Minus 4 divided by 4 comes minus 1. 0 divided by 4 comes 0. 4 divided by 4 comes 1. In the next column, we will write fd dash. We will multiply frequency with d dash. That is 4 multiplied by minus 2 comes minus 8. 8 multiplied by minus 1 comes minus 8. 2 multiplied by 0 comes 0. And 1 multiplied by 1 comes 1. We will add up the data. Then we will get sigma fd dash equals to minus 15. In the next column, we will write d dash square. That is, minus 2 square comes 4, minus 1 square comes 1, 0 square 0, 1 square 1. And in the last column, we will write fd dash square. We will multiply frequency with d dash square. That is, 4 multiplied by 4 comes 16, 8 multiplied by 1 comes 8, 2 multiplied by 0 comes 0, and 1 multiplied by 1 comes 1. We will add up the values, we will get sigma fd dash square equals to 25. Now we will calculate SD that is standard deviation. We will put up the formula and we will put values in it. We will get 3.26 at standard deviation. Now we will calculate CV that is coefficient of variation. For that first we have to calculate mean which is equals to A plus sigma FD dash divided by sigma F multiplied by C. We will put up the values and calculate it. We will get 6 as mean. Now we will calculate CV that is coefficient of variation. Standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100. That is 3.26 divided by 6 into 100 comes 54.3 percent. This is how we will calculate coefficient of variation in continuous series using step deviation method to find standard deviation. Now we come to merits and demerits of standard deviation. First, we will discuss merits of standard deviation based on all values of the series. In other words, it is taken into account every item of the series. Second, standard deviation is rigidly defined. It is an exact and definite measure of dispersion and it is widely used measure because of this feature. Next, it is capable of further algebraic treatment. That is, it can be used to find combined standard deviation of two or more series if standard deviation of all the distribution is known. And the last merit that it is least affected by fluctuations in sampling because samples are based on all values of the series. Next, we come to demerits of standard deviation. It is difficult to calculate as compared to other measures of dispersion. It is unduly affected by extreme values of the series as it is based on all the items. And last, standard deviation as an absolute measure cannot be used to compare the two series expressed in different units. These are some of the merits and demerits of standard deviation. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.